What's up everybody, Andrew Binder back with another video today, and today we are at Hobbytown Ashkash. Great place to come, highly recommend, and today we're looking at two TRX4s. Now, in a previous video you have seen mine, and we've seen everything that's been done to mine. You remember the rock lights and the interior, and yes, I know there's a gas can on its side, gonna fix that someday, we got all that stuff. But today, let's look at the inspiration that led me to do what I have done to mine. So, this is another TRX-4, and as we can see, very nice, very nicely done. I think you guys are really going to appreciate everything that's been done to this thing, so um, why don't we turn them off and we'll get started. Alright, so let's start at the front of these two trucks. As we can see on mine here, we have the same German license plate that all of you guys have uh, well pointed out to me. I thank you for that. So, I have the G-Made VR02, no, these are the SRO1 plastic beadlock wheels in white with the BF Goodrich all-terrain TA tires. These are from Axial. Also, these wheels are from an ECX Barrage and they are glued on, but these are also the BF Goodrich All Terrains. Real nice tire, really took inspiration from that. Definitely, I think, the most scale looking out of the two. Now, this is a hot racing aluminum front bumper with fill ins for the holes with the optional skid plate on. Really like this bumper, really gives it an overall classic look, but this guy definitely went more for the off road type stuff, which is awesome i think this look rig looks amazing now front bumper is an rc four-wheel drive arb bumper with a worn winch in there it is working and the way it's mounted is from a mount from shapeways which screws into the front bumper and then the assembly replaces the original factory mount really unique way of going about things and i think this thing looks awesome down here we can see this is from eBay, no really brand, it just says Defender, it's I think the nicest skid plate of them all. Um, it does have working lights on the bottom, so that's really cool, and it has these little hooks for the winch. From here we can just see this is the stock hot racing um, skid plate. I um, was looking at this one, it is a little pricey, it's $23, $24 for you guys that are Looking for pension, but um, looks really, really good on the truck. So, now we move on. This is also, I think, an eBay part from, um, I, don't, I don't know if RC Four Wheel Drive sells this or what, but it's the front aluminum guard, and it goes over the front grille and has kind of little chrome edges for the headlights and the blinker lights. And mind you, this truck does have the factory TRX4 full lighting kit without the rock lights. Um, he optioned out of the rock lights because he really didn't think that uh, was a good uh, scale appearance for the truck, but that's that's perfectly all right. So next we move up. I have these back where I live. Um, I don't know. I think it makes the truck look really, really mean. I really am digging the look on there. And as obviously, as we can see, this is a custom painted blue body. Um, so I decided to go with just the original stickers because I don't really like the permanent mounting solution, but yet this does look very good. Um, this is the stock snorkel that comes with the TRX-4 with a Shapeways product. Um, this is the snorkel cover, so nothing big there, but definitely sets it off really well. As we can also see, this is the... Night Customs Shapeways windshield wipers, and this one is a UK truck because the windshield wipers are the other way. This is the optional bar that extends for when you put the windshield wipers on. Um, also very, very cool. As we can see over here, I just have the American version with my interior and my, please focus, my truck has the um, axial windshield wipers with a little bit of detailing. This is the Yaw Racing Snorkel. A little bit different than the stock Traxxas version. So, um, that looks really good. Also, I also took inspiration 
from this truck as he did paint his diff cover black I think that really hides it a little bit more and gives it more of a scale looking appearance Mine is more of a matte black, but it doesn't really matter. Both trucks do look very, very, very good in the end. So um, let's move on to the side. <clears throat> so these night customs, <clears throat> all very, all very good. Um, I did not realize, but they are not quite the same as what I got on my truck. These are just eBay. And I decided not to cheap out this time as it does look much, much better. Um, <clears throat> night customs. Again, looks really, really well. This is definitely a Night Customs themed truck. Nothing wrong with that. Um, so then we look at the mud flaps. Now, these mud flaps, I'm not sure where you can find them. I'm pretty sure they're RC four wheel drive, but they're definitely a different style than the current style we have on mine. Um, definitely have a little bit more support there. They're thicker and they mount much better considering these are the cheap, china mud flaps but they do say land rover instead of um defender on them and i was able to mod these much more to fit better for my application um so that's that's also really cool so let me pause the video here for a minute and i will get this truck set up so we can take a look at the back all right so as we can see two very very different approaches to how we're going about this both of them very, very cool. So in back here, we'll start at the bottom. This is the RC four-wheel drive fuel tank. Very nice, very scale, no modification required. Has a very nice scale tailpipe coming out of the back. Now, if we move over to mine, mine is the eBay version, the Land Rover version, and I had to mod extensively to even just get that exhaust pipe there. Um, so you can take your pick. Either one will work. Either one is equally as awesome. If you're going the cheap route, um, takes a lot of modification, but I paid like 25 bucks for this, where this one is like $60, $70, really expensive, so depending on your budget. Um, also, we're looking at a trailer hitch. Now, this is Yaw Racing, but this has a much smaller ball on it than it would normally because the Mojave trailer is included with this um, with this kit and we're going to take a look at that in just a little bit um i have the ssd bumper i don't remember numbers on it um but i don't have that option for a trailer hitch anymore and i kind of miss that because i would like to put a trailer on it someday so um definitely a more scale approach here just plain jane classic um this here <clears throat> These are the roto packs, also from Knight Customs. Triple roto packs look a lot better than what comes stock on the truck. Um, real nice, real set up well. This is also an RC four wheel drive bumper, and it does swing out if I remember how. <clears throat> Gonna twist. <clears throat> nope. All right. So. Then we here, we have some self-made fishing lines, fishing poles. Real nice, real nice touch. I never thought you could even do that, but that's definitely a different way about going, going about things. And some of you guys may wonder and ask, where can you get this tire cover? He had it custom made, and the guy that does it does not do it anymore. He got one of um, the last ones the guy was going to make, so that is very cool. Also... Very ingenious tire mounting system, as that's all it is. It's just the foam. Removes a lot of weight off the back, making it much easier to take the tire, the, um, the body on and off. Really, really, really cool there. And that, all that does, <clears throat> slip on, just like that, and you're set to go. Really awesome. So we move on to the side. This is the RC four-wheel drive working jack. Very, very nice touch there, as mine is just a cross RC, I'm pretty sure. Little bit of Sharpie custom detail as we saw before. Um, working jack, very cool, very scale. So also he has some little Easter egg stickers on there. Really awesome. If I can get that in there. Couple stickers there. 
really nice. Um, also rear mud flaps, different kind of mounting system, but now we between the two mud flaps. So Land Rover, and this one says Defender. I'm not sure which is which, but both look very good. Yeah, Racing, diamond plate, um, installed the same way. Took inspiration from that. Um, now, the gas tank. The gas tank is a Knight Customs, um, and you do have to do some pretty precise trimming to get that in there, and I would say he did quite a good job at that. Oh, I hate this camera. Um, very, very hard to get that in there well, as I do have experience, and that's why I chose to go with one with a lip molding, because the you overcut and then you're pretty much screwed. I did not want to take that chance. Um, so uh, e both look equally as nice, both very beautiful, very, um, much more scale looking than what it comes with stock. Now, on top, as we can see, we got nothing there. He has the sand ladders in orange because that is apparently what they use um, in, in some summit or something of that in real life. Um, also, these, 3D printed, um, I don't know if they're a Hobby Town brand or a Knight Customs brand, but very, very cool. Um, and we have a little bit of a water cooler here, as since my windows are clear, I have the ladders in the back covering up the part that the Proline clear interior does not cover. A few fuel cans and axe in there, a little bit of a mountain as an Easter egg, some Pepsi cans, the sleeping bag, a map, and there used to be, oh, and there's a box, and there was a, a piece of rope in there that I do have to get back in there sometimes. So, also, looking at this, those are the Yaw Racing um, mirror finishes. Definitely worth it if you're looking for mirror finishes, and he did some other eBay version of a mirror finish again non-branded but um there is a difference between the uh, racing and that there so we've pretty much been all around the vehicle um oh i guess one other thing he has brass portals always a good idea um as i do not have any upgrade on the down low so <clears throat> yeah both trucks look very 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 good i think i love what i did I really, really love what this, um, my, uh, my friend did here. And so the difference between the wheels and the wheels is this was smaller than the wheels that are on the truck. Now that is because this is a modded Bronco spare wheel that you can buy with a hole in the center that then I just decided to put the tire cover over. And I like it because in the real ones, there is some window showing there, and that is a sort of more scale detail. And since this is mounted, you've got to be careful with your bumper, though, because this does sit lower, as we can see, than like a stock one. And I would say this one sits a little bit higher because of this, um, this nice swing-out bumper. Um, also, a little bit of differences is that is a Knight Customs ladder there. I decided to cut the Rotopacks off and put the ladder there, and I know this is wrong. I did not want to take the whole thing apart to put them back on this side, so I just stuck them there. And you can see them better, which is really nice. So, um, same wheels and tires. Mine are just, um, what do you call it, paint markered in. So that's that's really cool. but. Also, we have some more scale-looking shocks on this, some Nitro Charger shocks. Um, RC four-wheel drive, I'm not sure, but they are awesome. They work and look very, very, very well. Um, so this is the part where his truck trumps me very much. Let's move it out of the way. And... He has the RC four-wheel drive Mohav tent trailer. This thing is bad to the bone, I must say. So starting looking around the outside, we have some real-looking diamond plate. The trailer hitch just works with a slide, so you don't have to have any bolts taking away from the scale accessories. This opens up, and in here we have a myriad 
of scale accessories. And I'm not going to even list these off because I don't even know where half of it came from, but it is cool. Chainsaw with the toolbox with tools in it and some, some ramps, um, a, a um, winch point anchor. Really, really nice. Also, trailer comes with those two accessories. Really nice. Um, this is a metal canoe. This is not the 3D printed one that you get on eBay. Now, I really don't know where he got this. They used to sell canoes here at Hobby Town, and they still do. I'm sure if you ask the guys here, they'll uh, hook you up and try to find you something. Um, so that's a really, really nice touch. Um, typical, typical wheels and tires. Um, it does have articulating leaf suspension, although, as I see on most trailers, it's... Uh, Ooh, geez, very stiff, so it doesn't really have much of a suspension option. But if we open, now this is hard, this, he has a little, some accessories in here. We have the Proline um, uh, cooler. We have a winch pack. The sleeping bag that I have is in there. And, oh, that's closed. Back here... <clears throat> If I can get this open, it's very difficult to open. There we go. There is some wood in there. That is some real wood made by a um, guy locally here. So um, that is also a very cool option to have. Um, obviously, I'm not a pro at any of this, so... Ooh. There we go, got that shut up. Now, there we go. There's the sleeping bag and in there, he has a little campfire um, that you can set up while you're out crawling just for nice little scale detail. So that that is very, very, very cool. Um, overall, very, very, very cool rig. Awesome trailer. Um, Really, really like what's going on here. Now, for electronics, guys, in case you guys are wondering, all stock, even the servo. No need for electronics upgrade, as we do see this is a very scale build here. But, trailer attaches like so. And that's pretty much it. That is the whole truck. There's my version. Here's this version. Two very different approaches to the scale building, but both very, very awesome in the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of this rig. I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments. Let me know what you like, um, what you don't like, maybe some suggestions that um, could be done better or uh, be changed on either one of the rigs. Always open to those um, suggestions, making rigs better, but... um. Definitely like both of them equally. Two different approaches. Very, very well done. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.